Yes. Hi, welcome back again. You're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. Okay, yes, I'm streaming live and um, let me know about the sound quality and recording quality, right? Give me a give me a thumbs up, right? Let me know. <clears throat> if it's better, I'm gonna continue with this setup. If not, we're gonna go back to the previous setting, right? So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see what's happening with you, right? Reverse the roles if needed. Switch the cases. Don't force a reading on your situation. Oh, my God. What did just happen? Okay. Let's see what's happening with you. Pisces, what's the overall message? All right. Oh, my God. Okay. Three of Wands energy, recognition, and reward. We have love begins. Wow. For some of you, I see mm, you were just waiting some time. Three of Wands is more, the, more of the waiting energy. Oh, my God. Prosperity begins. A lot of new beginnings happening for you, Pisces. A lot of new things coming up for you. This is amazing energy. Amazing, amazing energy. Okay, so I see that there was some waiting period going on. For some of you, I see you might have... Um, maybe recently you... you you have been working over something for which you were getting recognized. I see uh, a lot of appreciation. I see rewards. But this is something that has happened already. You know, it's not, it's not about uh, maybe your past projects or something that you have completed recently. Those things are getting recognized now. But anyway, I see that you were waiting for this recognition. You were waiting for the start. You were waiting for this whole situation. I see you worked hard for it. And now people are appreciating that for, uh, for appreciating that effort and everything, right? I see love begins and prosperity begins. I don't know why, but I'm just getting a vibe that new chapters in your life are about to start. New chapters in your life are about to start. Pisces, amazing. Whoa, okay. Let's see what Tara has to say. I see love coming in. I see stability, prosperity coming in, right? Pisces. Reverse roles if needed. Switch the cases. Don't force a reading on your situation. This is going to be your reading. Uh, a specific person maybe you're dealing with or this person is on your mind heavily, right? You're thinking about this person. And a couple of advices, outcome, right? You know how it goes. Pisces. What's coming up for you? Pisces, I see a lot of new things showing up. For some of you, I see, again, in this card also, I see that you've been working. You have been putting in effort. You tried nurturing something. And maybe till now, you didn't see the result coming, but it's happening, you know. And solitude shows me that you've been working in silence. Can you see the patience? My God, Major Arcana is here. You were working in patience. You, you were working in silence for this. And I think it's coming now. It's coming for you. Pisces, we have... Hanged man, yeah, you were, st oh yeah, <laughs> oh my god, there is a specific person who's a badass, this person left you out in cold, I don't know if they did it intentionally, or you, it's just you feeling and missing them, and you feeling abandoned because of this person, but I see for some time, three of wands energy shows me the same thing, that you were just thinking, should I wait? Should I let it go? Nine of Cups energy. I see whatever you're doing, it's going to make you happy, wish come true energy. For some of you, I see the new thing coming in. Yeah, Ten of Swords under the deck. Ooh. We have Ace of Wands and Nine of Cups. The new thing coming your way is going to make you very, very happy. Like a wish come true. Now, this is a new person coming in or the past person coming with new passion and excitement. We're going to see that, right? But this is going to make you happy. Past chapters, past cycles are coming to an end. Interesting. I see you stuck in waiting, again waiting, getting recognized for your past efforts. For some of you, this is not new. Maybe you have done something to somebody in past, something for somebody in past, or maybe in past projects, past work, something that has happened already a few weeks or months ago. You're getting recognized for that now. Hanged Man shows me that you're still stuck. For some of you, past appears good. Yeah, I'm chilling here and I'm just hanging here. 
But what about the future, Ash? I don't see I don't see anything coming. I'm getting recognized for what I have done before, but what about the new stuff? What about the future? I see Hank Man is giving you new perspective about some things. You might feel stuck, you might feel that things are not moving, but you're getting new perspective about some things and that's going to be promising, right? That's going to be promising and you have no idea dude what's coming for you. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. This combination is something I love, right? I, I see Ace of Swords is missing. So maybe the clarity is missing right now, but it's coming, right? This can be surrounding somebody who abandoned you. Now you are moving on from this person or simply, we'll see. We'll see where it goes, right? Pisces, what is coming up for you? Uh, the person on your mind. Okay, the person on your mind. Pisces, okay. Okay, interesting. Wheel of Fortune, okay. Mm -hmm. But I see some very interesting turn of events can happen. Somebody can be willing to work with you, can be willing to work with you. Let's see the outcome. Yeah, okay. King of Wands, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, if you dealt with one. Someone is quite interested in working with you, right? Three of Pentacles, I see that's going to be uh, a weird energy for you. For some of you, I see you're releasing past, you're letting go of past, and you're stuck. What's going to happen? I see this person is bringing a new offer to you. Can be a fire sign, very passionate. They want to work. I'm going to clarify what is their outlook here. I see that this person gets distracted easily. Or for some of you, I'm also getting here that this person is showing you that I get distracted. Wheel of Fortune. Now, whatever is happening, things are about to turn around. So I see it's going to happen for good. Now, this is coming on their part. So for some of you, I'm getting this message that this person is going to do some good changes, going through or will be going through some very good changes in the recent, uh, in the near future, I'm sorry, right? Now, as this happens, this can result in some repercussions, some ripple effect. And you might also hear something from this person which you're not expecting, Right. At heart, this person is silent, they're keeping secrets. For some of you, this is like not showing the person how you feel. So at heart, this person wants to stay quiet. I don't know. I just feel that this person knows. They intuitively know that you feel left out and cold. They intuitively know that, but they're not doing anything about it. We're going to see what's that, right? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's quickly clarify. Why are you feeling so stuck? Justice, okay. Some things have happened already. Again, I'm getting this message that what had to happen has been done already. <laughs> now, what the confusion is, what's going to happen next? That's the confusion. Past has already gone. Boom, right? Justice, I see that it was hard for you, but you have created balance in the situation, right? You have adapted to the new normal. You have made the decision and you're standing there. Past is for a lot of you, I see past is clear for you, right? Oh, yeah, three of pentacles again. Three of pentacles clarified by three of pentacles. This is interesting. Queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why is this person so hardworking? Oh, yeah, okay. This person is indulging in work, they are just trying to, uh, you know, uh, immerse them themselves in work because they're freaked out. This person is losing sleep. I see this person is waiting on to you, Pisces. This person is waiting on to you. They're losing sleep. They won't, they won't talk. For some of you, I see this, this prosperity begins energy. I feel that you both somehow have a feeling that you both have nurtured it together. Can you see two hands here? You both have nurtured it together. Now the fruits are coming out, but they're standing there alone. They feel like you've left or you're just not showing up. And meanwhile, you feel that this person has abandoned you. And they're waiting for the, uh, waiting to enjoy the results, and they want you to show up. What is this? Now, let me know in the comment section. What is this? Okay. Let's first see why are you feeling abandoned? Because I see this person is waiting on to work with you. They freaked out. They lose. They're losing sleep at night. They want you to reach out, and you so they're silent. They're like, okay, they're silent. They're very attracted to you. Can be a fire sign. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel here, Pisces, that 
uh, you feel a commitment with this person, Ten of Pentacles, you feel a commitment with this person. The problem is that I think you yourself have, have uh, okay, pushed them away. And the reason may be that you felt I've given too much. Six of Pentacles, I do too much, Ash. I, 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 just, I just keep on giving. They don't give it back to me. And I see this is that assertive energy making this person feel that, dude, I'm doing all the work alone. Are you not going to give me back anything? Anything? Okay. Okay. We have Eight of Swords here. Yeah, you feel loved. You feel loved from within. Because you feel that when I start investing, they just start taking. They don't give it back to me. And this person is dead silent. This person is dead silent. They're keeping a lot of secrets. They don't want you to know that they're losing sleep over you. Pisces, they think about you a lot. Seven of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, I'm getting this message that this person is acting. You know what? This is, this is weird now. Yeah, Eight of Swords again. This is weird now. This person feels, feels, quote unquote, that they're confused. I don't know. Oh, see, I saw 11-11. <laughs> yeah. So this person feels I am confused. Pisces is not giving me clarity. I don't know what Pisces wants. But in reality, I see they are also not doing anything. It's like, okay, if I'm confused, I'm claiming independence of the situation. It doesn't work like this. You know, if you're confused, just go and ask for clarity. Your intuition is telling you that you need to go and ask for clarity. But they're not doing that. Seven of Cups, they're confused. And they're just, okay, okay, if there's confusion, I'm just letting go of it. I'll just enjoy my singlehood. I'll just enjoy my money. I'll, I'll just be myself because I'm confused, you know? This is not how you deal with confusion, isn't it? Okay, now things are turning. I see a fresh start happening for, like, <laughs> for 95% of you. This is a big, big, uh, what should I say? Claim, isn't it? 95% is too much. But yes, three aces on the table. So I would, I would put the stake at 95%. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. I see the new strike coming in for you, right? And um, for a lot of you, I do see it with this person because for them, things are shifting as well. But for the rest of you, this can be with somebody else. This is so, yeah, world, okay. This person needs to put the shit together, honestly. They're so guarded. And um, I'm getting a weird, carefree energy where if I'm confused, I'm out of it. Dude, if you're confused, just go and ask for clarity. No. If I'm confused, I'm out of it. And see, finally, Ace of Swords is here. I told you in the beginning, I, I, I don't see the Ace of Swords. That means this lack of clarity. Here it comes. For some of you more than you, this person needs clarity. They're going crazy. They're going confused all in their head over and over. And instead of changing it, they're just living with it, carefree. They're getting the clarity now, right? And you know what? I see you want a fresh start. For some of you, Pisces, I'm getting this message that they're going to lose it. And that's going to be their fault. And somewhere out hard, they will know that it's their fault. If they will lose you, they're going to know that it's their fault. Because they're not doing anything. They're claiming independence. They're thinking that if I'm confused, okay, that is how it is. Because for some of you, I see a new passion, new opportunity, new commitment possible. With the, with the Ace of Pentacles, I see possible new commitment coming your way. They're going to lose it, dude. Page of Cups. Ooh. For some of you, I see some new compassionate message coming in. This can be a past person returning to you for apology. They, they want to apologize. Yeah, death. For some of you, I see a specific person in your surroundings has been going through a massive transformation and you'll be getting an apology from this person right Pisces oh my god oh my god okay this person is going to lose it big time if they do it Pisces they're going to lose it big time five of swords here for you okay so Pisces I see a new fresh start happening here I see an apology, somebody from your past. Now I'm, I'm getting two storylines. Whatever I said, I get it exactly. 
Now, as we end, I get two storylines. Number one, this person is going to lose it big time. Okay, there's somebody outside. Pardon me for that. I cannot I cannot edit this, right? If, if this person loses you, they're going to lose it big time, right? Because I see there's another person from the past. I see judgment call, someone asking for a second chance, and you might give them a second chance. And I see a fresh start happening with that person. And if, if this is not this person, they're going to lose it big time. They'll be, if they're guarded, let them, let them be guarded. They're going to lose it, dude. And Six of Swords shows me that uh, with a very heavy heart, they will have to move on. If they don't do anything about it, if, if they stay and if they live in this confusion and if they stay independent of the situation, uh, they will have to move on with a very heavy heart, right? I see the clarity. This person, <laughs> oh, my God, oh, my God, I just got something. It's like <laughs> you want to stay in confusion? You're in confusion? <laughs> Bitch, get the clarity. <laughs> Here it is. I cut you off. Oh my god, it's not even funny. Okay, pardon me. I'm sorry. Some of you are really emotional and Pisces. Yeah, you guys are emotional. Maybe the situation is a little emotional right now. Five of Pentacles shows me that you're feeling abandoned. I don't I, I don't want to make fun of it, but really, I see it. I see it. It's like you getting some new courage, some new energy, and you're telling this person, dude, you're confused, you want clarity, bitch, take it okay so yeah let's have an outcome do you have 10 of cups judgment and page of cups you have no idea what's coming towards you Pisces. this is so good outcome for prices transformation here it happens this is amazing this is the tower energy in this deck right usually death shows transformation but in this energy it's tower and you know tower really uh is important when when for the foundation is there and somebody is building and building and building over it the tower has to fall king of cups now the one who loves you or the one you love i think it, it's time to be with the right person pisces it's time to be with the right person a significant life experience that requires changes to be made yeah you, you, these big changes are these big uh, experiences are coming your way and you need, need to make space for that Powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free from procrastination, releasing old belief systems. So whatever you were thinking about till now, whatever thinking, whatever you were thinking of till now, I see your belief system is about to change. If you were having some perceptions about relationships, future commitment, or you know, settling down, what kind of person you want in your life, your expectations are changing now. And I see you know who is the right one for you. King of Cups, trustworthy, Ooh. <laughs> trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious. Someone you can completely trust. Okay, thank you. A situation that is safe. A solid romantic relationship. Ooh. Hidden but well-intended emotions. A charitable benefactor. Seeing a counselor, right? Let's see what else we have. Let's see. Let's see what else we have. Pardon me for background noises. I just can't edit them. You know, the one thing that I don't like about live streaming is that I cannot cut the bitches off. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, I just saw Tyler and, and I just can't get, get that person off my head. The way he speaks, it really catches my attention. And I shouldn't be doing this, I know. <laughs> okay, Pisces, what do you need to hear right now? Okay, we have it. To be fair, Pisces, be honest. Be fair, not just with others, but for yourself also, but with yourself also, right? You need to release transformation again. Those things have to fall off, which are not good for you. The change has to come. And for that, previous constructions have to be destructed. To be fair, be honest, not just for others, but for yourself too. You know what, what's right for you, round and round. Can you see that? Round and round. The psyche and the pattern has to end, Pisces. Oh, lovely. Just, just one more card. I know I know. Uh, I'm taking too much time. Last card for Pisces. Come on, quick. Don't let your past hold you back. If you have had some bad experience, again, past has been 
really showing up very strong in this reading. Don't let it hold you back. What do you need to release? Re let go of your old belief systems, your patterns, the cycles that have been repeating in your life. There's a fucking amazing new chapter waiting for you. Just open your arms and accept it. Right, Pisces? That's what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.